All right, so that wraps up my morning routine. Generally, I start at around four. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up my morning routine. So anyway, that's how I edit my pictures. The workflow is pretty fast, but I'm not wearing a dress shirt. This is a different this is a different vlog. Oh my god, I gotta get to work. I gotta get dressed first. Okay, now that I'm all dressed and ready, we gotta get to work before I'm late. I gotta get moving before I'm late. So for those of you that don't know, I am a security officer at Marywood. Sometimes I work 11 to 7, and sometimes I work 12 to 8. Tonight I'm working 11 to 7, and I spent too long editing, so I gotta get up there in time, so I'm not late, they don't fire me! Nah, I doubt they'd actually fire me. They're generally pretty understanding here, and that's kinda nice. So I'm gonna check in. 11, checking in. 10 4. So that was my Sergeant Sean. He's a pretty, pretty cool guy, but of course, you gotta keep things professional here. So I'm gonna head up to the dorms and hang out there for the night. But I can't go anywhere without acknowledging this beautiful campus safety car that we get to drive all night. All right, so here we are inside of Madonna Hall. This is one of the three dorms on Mary Woods campus. The first dorm is Regina, that has mostly freshmen. The second one is Lawgreen, which also has mostly freshmen. And here, my favorite is Madonna, that has upperclassmen. I love it because it's such a nice space to hang out in, and a lot of the kids are much more mature. They're not partying and drinking and stuff, so it's easy to sit here. So, I'm gonna show you a little time lapse of what I'm doing. Pretty much just schoolwork on my computer, other miscellaneous things, so let's do it. So yeah, it gets pretty boring here. Not much really happens. I gotta sit here all night. I love it so much. Can't go anywhere or do anything at all. Psych, I'm just playing. Y'all thought that I actually had to sit there all night. Oh, I got you so good. Here I am on top of the library, AKA Learning Commons. This is one of my favorite spots to go to. It's such a nice view. You can see Dixon City. You can see downtown Scranton. You can see all the buildings on campus. It's beautiful. You come up here, have a cup of coffee. It's real nice. Down there is a beautiful garden. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what that garden's like. I'm also gonna show you around what I'm doing throughout the nights. One of the worst parts about getting to the top of the learning commons is having to climb up these scary and steep stairs. Also, that door at the top doesn't work all the time. <laughs> so, it's really hard to open and close at times, but definitely worth it. Okay, so here we are down in the garden area I was just talking about. Around me are some works of priceless art. I'm gonna show them now. So not only am I down here trying to show you about these amazing works of art, it's a nice place to hang out when it's warm out. It's not so warm today, so I can't really hang out here for all that long. It's a nice place to sit down and chill, but it also gives me a perfect view of these two places I'm gonna show you about. All right, so right there is a building. That's Regina Hall. I told you about that a little bit before. It's a freshman dorm. And on the left over here, Right, that building right there is called IMAC. It's like the president's office. It's where a lot of like financial aid and all that kind of stuff is done. Focus on me, jeez. So, stories about that, kind of terrifying. In Regina, apparently, only a pregnant nun hanged herself on the third floor stairway. That's kind of scary, you know, that's like two sins. Also being a nun is kind of, uh, yeah, I don't really like being there these days. It was one of my favorite dorms to hang out in because we had a nice little nook that the security can hang out. But uh, yeah, these days, nah, because the desk is right next to the stairs. I'm not trying to get possessed or anything of that nature. No, thank you. And iMac, apparently the third floor is haunted. I don't know what the story is behind that or if it's true or not, but Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. A lot of these older buildings are pretty terrifying. I don't like walking through them anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a few other buildings that I like, and then we're gonna get into some fun games. Let's do it. Right, so here I am inside the learning common where the lights are automatic, and they should be turning on any second now. Hey. This is one of my favorite buildings. I promise you, it is a nice view. It's also a nice spot to hang out. Have a seat and uh, 
watching TikToks or something to pass the time. I'm gonna show you my next favorite building. All right, building number two. This is the SOA, also known as the School of Architecture. One of my favorite buildings to be inside of just because designs and the building just looks so beautiful from the inside. Real ones know this area from the continuity project, fell for it. And real ones know that balcony from the vectors assignment where I was running back and forth. So I'm pretty much here every night. I have to walk through and make sure there's no students, make sure there's no trespassers, which are worse than students, if you didn't know. And it's one of my favorite buildings to walk through just because of how beautiful it is on the inside. I love it. a really awkward moment <laughs> um as soon as i finished filming that segment i ran into a student sitting at his desk doing work i'm pretty sure he heard everything i said so that's kind of awkward i had to unfortunately escort him out because nobody's allowed to be in the buildings this late it's 1 30 the building closed a few hours ago i felt bad for him he's a student trying to get his work done architect students work really really hard but you gotta do what you gotta do man that, that was just so awkward though like he must have been Listen to me coming up talking about getting students out. He's like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> First time getting caught vlogging in public. I'm like really nervous right now. I'm really like anxious. I have never experienced this feeling before. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. So anyway, when I first got into the security job, I had no idea what it really entailed. I had only ever seen like Paul Blart and different kinds of mall police and stuff. So I figured, why not give it a shot? One of the biggest things we're supposed to do from day to day is open up parts of campus. We generally divide it among the guards that are there. So what I'm gonna do today, and I'm gonna challenge you guys, is I'm gonna take you from building to building as I open them up. And I'm gonna show you what key I use because each building uses different keys. I'm gonna show you what key I use and you're gonna have to guess at the end of the video what key goes to what building. I promise it's not too hard. There's only three keys that we use. So let's get into it. See what kind of memory you guys have. See if you guys are paying attention and care about my content. Let's do it. All right, here I am inside of the Studio Arts Center, another beautiful building to be in. Here there is a green horse behind me, very beautiful, and it uses an orange key. All right, here I am inside of Swartz. It is a spiritual study center. It is also the host of the on-campus chapel, and it uses a red key. Okay, here I am inside of the Center for Healthy Families. This is where a lot of the nutrition classes and the nursing classes are. Here you can see some of the lab coats people wear. And it uses a red key. One of the really cool things about driving around campus is that sometimes you see deer I can't zoom in or out, but that's them right there. This is McGowan. It is the space for all of the psychological studies and classes of the such. And it uses a green key. It's also where I get my Dr. Pepper from time to time. Not tonight though, I gotta cut back on sugar and calories. And last but not least, this is Nazareth. It is the student center, also has the dining hall. It's got some really nice game rooms in here. It's pretty sweet to hang out and chill in. And it uses a green key. All right, so that wraps up my morning routine. Usually I start around 4.30 in the morning, finish around five at the very latest. Today I didn't have to open up too many buildings. Sometimes I open up more, sometimes less. It depends. So for the rest of my shift, the remaining two hours, I can either sit at a desk and watch students come in and out, or I could drive around campus in the car. I prefer to whip the car, jam with some music, but also make sure that things are safe and okay. I do my job. Oh, a police officer just drove by. As if security isn't good enough, they got, got police officers too. Shaking my head, man, shaking my head. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my shift. I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Wish me luck staying awake. Another day, another dollar. Back home, it's 6.57. <sighs> Done with another long day of work. It's tough work the night shift, I gotta say, but it is the only shift that works with my schedule. Anyway, we're gonna go to the studio and wrap things up. All right, my night is finished. You guys saw what I do five nights a week. It's tough, it's tiring, it's exhausting, but it fits with my schedule, so I push through it. Without further ado, it's quiz time. See if you guys remember what's going on. So the first building I went to was the SAC, the Studio Arts Center, and its key was orange. If you guessed orange, you are right. The second building I went to was Schwartz. It is the Spiritual Center. Any guesses? 
you guessed red, you are correct. The next building from there was Healthy Families. If you guessed green, you are incorrect. The answer is red. Oh. <laughs> All right, next building is McGowan, the Psychological Center. If you guessed green, you would be correct. And finally, we have Nazareth, which is the Dining Hall Student Center. And if you guys green for that one, you would also be correct. So drop in the comments how many you got right, how many you got wrong. If you need to get better memory, if you need to pay attention to my content and watch what I'm doing. I'm looking at you, Gary. So anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you all for watching. We're going to head into my bedroom. I got to get some rest. So be right out. I got classes either 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Depending on the day of the week, so I'm gonna get a few hours of rest so I can be good for the day. Tune in next time, we'll talk about 570 Sports. 570 Sports this, 570 Sports that. Do any of you know what 570 Sports really is? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed coming with me on a day at work. See you in the next one. Be cool.